What's up guys, this is The Honest Outlaw here, and today we're gonna be doing a quick review on a product that I get a lot of questions on. So I figured I'd just bust out a real quick review on talon grips. Now what talon grips are is they're essentially just a piece of sandpaper grip stuck to another piece of paper that you buy online and stick to your gun. Pretty simple. But what they do is they give you a lot of things. So this is what talon grips look like. This is my newest set. I have it on this H&K P30. And this is kind of what they look like when they first start. So basically what I do is you put these strips on first, you just stick it on the gun, wrap it around the gun like that, and then stick it on top of it. And after that, I take, well, you, they always say heat gun, but I always take my wife's blow dryer because I'm manly like that. And I heat this up to where it's hot enough to, and kind of squishy, and then I press it down real hard and I squeeze on it quite a bit, and I try to get it to stick to the gun, and that is the proper way to set these, I guess, in my opinion. If you don't use heat, a lot of times they slide around a lot more, and a lot of those tactical instructors that bitch about these, those are the guys that weren't manly enough to use a wife's hair dryer to make them actually function. Now, what do town grips give you? I'll give you the pros, then I'll give you the cons. So the pros are, first off, is that they're super cheap. They're like 20 bucks. Most of the time you can get them on eBay, so it's just a one-click buy. But if you have a weird gun like this P30 or even a CZ P07, which I have laying around here, well, you can always go to Talon's website. And every gun that I've ever wanted to get Talon grips for, I'm not saying they make them for every gun, but every gun I've wanted to get Talon grips for, they've had. So availability is really great and price is really great as well. Another great thing that they do though is give you traction. That's what they do, right? They're sandpaper grips. So some people say they're a little too harsh. I'll show you how to fix that in a second. They give you a lot more traction to allow for quicker follow-up shots. They also make the gun more reliable in some cases. If you have a gun that can be classically limp wristed like a Glock 19, Town grips can give you that slight advantage to hold the grip just a little sturdier and really lock it in your hand. And even with new shooters, I've seen them limp wrist this just a little bit less, making the gun more reliable. So that's an added bonus as well. Making the gun shoot faster and making the gun a little bit more reliable has some downsides. First downside, one, if you carry appendix or even if you carry without an undershirt with sandpaper grips, it could irritate you. So this doesn't feel great on your stomach when it's rubbing around all day and night, trust me, I know. So one option that you can go with is the rubber grips. This is a gun that I conceal carry quite a bit. As a matter of fact, I'm actually probably gonna try to do the FBI test with this gun here pretty soon, which should be entertaining, but I've carried this gun a lot and these rubber grips are just fine in my opinion. Now they don't give you as much traction as the granulated sandpaper grips, but they still are much better than the traditional Glock grip and they don't rub your stomach real bad and they are right around the same price. Another option that you can do is you can take literally any metal object, whether it be a screwdriver or whether it be a set of keys. I'm looking around for something right here. Uh, let's go with this. Let's go with this uh, Allen wrench set here, or this Allen wrench key. And if you have certain spots that bother you more than others or you just want it to be less granulated, all you have to do is rub a little piece of metal across it and you'll make that traction less and less. A couple of particular spots that really bother me sometimes are lower on the grip, like where my palm is, and you just rub that a little bit, and you rub some of that sand, sand off that paper, and it's less abrasive. Now another thing I do to town grips for the most of the time is I do rip off the back strap. I like to have this clear. Now, that's because that fixes another problem with the talon grips. As you can see here, I even went more extreme with uh, my Glock. Now, one of the problems that you'll find with talon grips is that it works a little too well. So if you get your hand in there and you get a perfect grip, it feels like nothing at all. But if you have to move it around and adjust your grip a little bit, it's a little bit harder to do with the talon grips. Also, if you don't have big old ape hands like me and you can't reach a Glock 19 uh, magazine release without changing your grip, you might have some problems with town grips as far as like rotating your hand around. Now, it will just take a little bit of training. You can easily do it once you're used to it, but in the beginning, it's gonna feel a little bit awkward. And I've heard a lot of tactical elitists, I guess you would call them, really knock down on these. They really want you to go and get a two or $300 stipple job like you see on this agency arms right here because they say they fall off or they move. Well, yes, they do. They absolutely do. However, 
I shoot thousands of rounds out of this gun a year, and all they, they do look a little ratty. This has actually been on here for over a year. So they don't fall off right away, and I'm willing to bet that most people that watch these videos probably don't shoot as much as me. That's a benefit of being a YouTuber, I suppose. But the reality is, is that I shoot lots and lots of rounds through these town grips, and yeah, they do move, not usually in the winter, usually in the summer when it's like 70 or 80 degrees, it gets really hot, and they start to slide around just a little bit. But like that famous Mitch Hedberg joke, you know, uh, what does an escalator do when it breaks? It just becomes stairs. Well, what do town grips do when they break? Well, they just become the grip of the gun. If this falls off, it doesn't bite you. It doesn't jump down your shorts. So the disadvantage to having town grips is that they stop working eventually. That's it, right? So if this just falls off right now, is it really going to be able to affect my magazine release? Uh, not if I press it hard enough, first off. It, it literally can't do anything negative to you. If you don't like them, you just rip them off. And the plus side of this over something like stippling is that if you want to sell this gun, all you do is take the sandpaper grip off. And maybe there's a little gluey residue here or there, but you just rub that with your finger, it comes right off. You cannot rub stippling off with your finger. And now one disadvantage to stippling that most people don't know is if you try to sell your gun, often or not, you are definitely not gonna get what you paid for the stippling, and you might even get less for the gun than you would in its stock condition. So that's a big advantage to sandpaper grips. If you want a little traction and you're thinking about selling the gun somewhere in the future, I would recommend them well over stippling. I hope that covered some pros and cons of town grips, and I hope that answered a lot of your guys' questions. If you have any further questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe, and please stop by your local homeless shelters, and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.